In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. You call that pushing? Put some back into it, embedded! Uh, uh, Iron Mask? Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All right, third squad! Time to regroup! <laughs> Go on, get moving! Hey, wait for me! Thank you, Iron Mask. It's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hmm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose.
doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. Ah, you again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. What will we do with you? Here, let me see. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, you'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danans are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? <sighs> if only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <sighs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that, but I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young, you have time. Wait for the right moment, both for yourself and the world. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Guess I'll go back to my room. Slave, just like everyone else here. So how come I don't have a spirit core? Or face, or memories for that matter. <sighs> Not like worrying about it will change anything.
I should get some rest. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut-eye. I'd better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. Another day toiling away for the rents. Am I gonna do this until the day I die? Lively slaves, let's see some work around here! nowhere to be found. This hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? 
Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> Hey, you're... <sighs> Over there! Don't move! Go now! Huh? Hurry, get moving! <clears throat> Stay still! You cost us a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way, or not. <laughs> <laughs> missed your chance to become lord which means you lot live and die for me the mighty balsaf got that through your skulls now hurry up and bring me shion yes, yes sir, sir. <laughs> even the drinks lost its appeal someone's in a bad mood Lord Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Valkyris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? 
Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the resistance for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Is it true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. They're interrogating her? Just what the hell is going on? I need to go and find out for myself. It wasn't a lie. The slightest touch is like being struck by lightning. What are you doing? So you're finally awake, huh? What's going on here? What did she ever- Mind your business. <laughs> so
So even if you don't mean to hurt somebody, if they touch you, they get electrocuted, huh? It doesn't seem to be poison or magic. Is this the reason Balsef's soldiers were after you? <laughs> For the last several days, Balsef's forces have been getting pretty restless. When we looked into it deeper, the word thorns came up over and over again. And now, we come across Miss Prickly herself. Hmm. Drop the attitude. Did you really think we wouldn't find out anything about you? Miss Shion Imeris? <laughs> That's her name? You mean she's... What? You didn't figure it out already? Yeah, that's right. This lady's got herself a surname. Which means one thing. She's a Renan, our enemy. Yeah, but she was being chased by Renan soldiers. So then, why? That's exactly what we're trying to figure out. After all, aside from the clothes they wear, there's only one way to tell a Danon from a Renan. And that's whether their eyes light up or not. Ain't that right, bright eyes? Big talk for someone who can't even use astral arts. Embedded. Don't you call us embedded! Look, you see the stone your people embedded in me? There isn't one. Because we gouged them out the day we swore to rise up against your kind. This scar's a reminder. Not to rest until every last Faith. one of you is... We Danons may not be capable of using astral arts, but it looks like those thorns of yours won't do you much good in escaping here either. Still, inflicting pain on anyone who comes near you, that's one hell of an ability. You're wrong. You think this curse is some kind of great ability? No! Oh. Fair enough. All I know is Balsef must have his eye on you for a damn good reason. And until we find out why... An ambush! They must have tracked us down. Evacuate his plan. Hurry! And bring the girl. If she gives you any trouble, wave a spear in her face. I got it. Hey, Iron Mask! Sorry, but right now it's everyone for themselves. What about you? I'm going to welcome our guests. Don't go dying on me. Come on, move. And don't try anything funny.
What's this thing? Find an exit and get the hell out of here. Anyone who can fight, grab a weapon! Damn, how did they find out about this place? These kinds of battles been going on this entire time? I just didn't know. Denon. You there! Where's the Renan girl who was here? Well, I... Spit it out! I want an answer, insurgent! How's this for an answer? Go to hell! You dare address a Renan armored soldier that way? Or I'll show you embedded! So much for playing nice. All right, we're up. We fight still. I have to do this. I won't go quietly. Beat one of those Renan soldiers.
Now you'll learn! Swallow blade! Slice! This! Slice! Mirage! Yeah. Down! Slice! Mirage! Yeah. This! Swallow blade! Yeah. Die! One. Shion v. Mare, I Maris Daymore. I hereby detain you in the name of His Excellency Lord Balsam. Damn it! Throw down I was your so weapon. close! What the? You've got some kind of death wish? Those are armored soldiers, you're- Shut up and get out of here while you still can! Step aside, slave. These are Renan affairs you're meddling in. Hey! We've got a better chance working together. Besides, I don't much feel like being indebted to a Danon. <sighs> Fine, suit yourself! and we'll get along quite well. Kinda new for me, if you hadn't noticed. Don't expect any promises. Take it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Have it! Swallow blade! Swallow blade! Why did you help me? What could a Danon like you possibly gain from helping a Renan like me? Trust me, I've no great love for Renans. I guess I'm just not as consumed with hatred as some... What? Have we met somewhere before? Me? Friends with a Danon? Can't say I've had the pleasure. Well, when you put it like that... Yeah, silly question. I don't remember anything about my past. I don't have any clues to go on either. Not even my own face. Let me get this straight. You don't know what you look like, but you thought I might somehow recognize you? <laughs> Something like that. Guess my helping you back there wasn't as self-sacrificing as I made it out to be. Besides, I can't feel pain anyway. So it's not like... Wait, you really can't feel pain? Uh, yeah. It's just another thing I don't have. No pain, no face. No memories. I only know one thing about myself, and that's that I'm a slave. What about your name? You must have one, right? Iron Mask. Got the name from the person who found me. Said that this way I wouldn't forget I had a real name out there somewhere. I see. So where to next? Outside, silly. 
What do you think we fought all this way for? Stay sharp. We're going in. Can you even see out of that thing? Like, at all? Of course I can. How else do you think I manage to avoid tripping everywhere I go? What is that thing anyway? It doesn't look like anything Dan and I've ever seen. Beats me. I don't remember anything about my past. When I came to, I was already wearing it. If I could get it off, I would. Damn thing makes it hard to eat. And I can't scratch my face when it itches. It's the worst. Honestly, I'm just impressed you've managed to survive this long looking like that. I'm sure you attract attention wherever you go. Most of the other Danans don't pay it any mind. It's in everyone's best interest to just keep their heads down, focus on their work, and pretend they don't notice. What about the Renan soldiers? Didn't they notice? The guards? They're more the kill first, ask questions later type. Be in the wrong place or step out of line and you're dead. Mask or no mask. That said, as long as you keep your head down and don't cause trouble, they mostly ignore you. Honestly, sometimes they don't look all that keen to stir up trouble themselves. A friend of mine said it's because if they kill us without a good reason, it could delay the work and put them behind schedule. At that point, it'd be their necks on the line. You should know more about all that than me, though, right? I don't serve any of the Lords. But I see what you mean. After three centuries of run and rule without much upheaval, it's possible the soldiers might be losing their edge. All this trouble we've caused might be the first excitement they've had in a while. Well, I don't plan on getting killed for their amusement. Glad to see you made it. I heard you managed to escape, but I didn't expect to see old Iron Mask with you. In any case, we're all wanted by the Renans. It'll be easier for everyone if you both just come with me. Where are the others? They're waiting for us up ahead. Come on. Stay where you are, dissidents. Just look at all these soldiers. How badly did they want to destroy this hideout? <laughs> Apprehend the traitor! Slaughter the rest! <laughs> 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 Sion! <laughs> 
He was embedded within her all along. No matter. Kill her if you have to. Just retrieve the core. Buster! You okay? Your arms! <clears throat> oh, yeah. How about that? Guess it's just as well I can't feel it, huh? You're not in agony? Wait, are you serious? Hold still. Huh? It's one of my healing arts. A sword that sears the hand of he who wields it, and a healing art to mend. A man numb to pain, and a woman whose very touch deals nothing but. Thank you. <sighs> All right. Let's rout the bastards and finish them off before the surviving stragglers have a chance to regroup. Iron Mask, you coming? Definitely. I'm not about to go back all that way alone. So I guess you're not planning on releasing me, huh? Sorry. You're coming with us. In that case, there's one thing you should know. No one uses that flaming sword without my say-so. You needn't worry on that score. I doubt many of us could get close to it in the first place. Or would want to. The Blazing Sword. It just might be strong enough to match the power of a lord. No, maybe even to surpass it. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what do you mean? Your wound. That soldier nailed you pretty good. Not to mention those flames bursting from you. They only hit my Master Core, so I'll be fine. And the flames weren't even hot. It's probably because they're just a manifestation of the astral energy. Honestly, I'm more surprised that you really are incapable of feeling pain. Did you think I was faking? No, I believed you. I guess seeing you stay calm while bearing those burns to your hands just really made it hit home for me. It's ironic. I have no problem hurting anyone who touches me. But as soon as I try to wield that sword, it's me who gets hurt. Do you wish you were impervious to pain too? You realize you could burn your fingers off without even noticing, right? So what? All I need right now is power. And up until now, I haven't come across anything stronger than that blazing sword the whole time I've been doing this. You really don't care what happens to you as long as you get what you're after, do you? Don't talk like you know me. Uh. <sighs> you... <sighs> you're right. I don't get you. I don't get why you're so quick to throw it all away. Not when us slaves have never had a choice in whether we lived or died.
cover's been blown here. Get a move on. We're moving to another base. Ganymede Castle, stronghold of Lord Balsef, self-imposed ruler of all Calaglia. I've never seen it from this close before. That's it, all right. And next to it are the Gates of Fire. Take a good long look while you still can. That wall is what we've come to tear down. The only thing standing between us and freedom. Freedom. Let's go. Be careful. If you get close to a Zoogle, they'll attack. Don't let them go. 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 Don
How's this? Mega Ray! Slut! Talon Storm! Swallow Blade! Cannon! Rising Wyvern! Slut! Swallow Blade! I'm sure I can put this to use. Don't fight any enemies you can otherwise avoid, all right? Makes sense. If we try to take them all on, there'll be no end in sight. You sure won't hear me complaining. Stone. I sense a strange power from it. We should gather as many as we can find. Don't get careless! Don't tell me! What you Circle and bring them down! I'm only getting started! Swallow Blade! Rising Wyvern! How's this? Ah! Fall back! I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. Seems you found something good. Supplies like that are valuable. Never overlook them. Got it. I'll remember that. Let's stop a moment to catch our breath. But I've barely worked up a sweat. Speak for yourself. What do you want, a medal? Doesn't look like we're being followed. Fail to grab these rare moments of quiet when you can. You'll end up regretting it later. You're the boss. Normally, we should take turns standing guard. But this first time, I'll watch over things so you two can rest easy. I've never just sat and watched a fire like this before. It's surprisingly soothing. Well, aren't you getting comfortable? You realize there are still Zoogles prowling around out here, right? Ah, don't be a spoil sport. It's important to let your mind and spirit relax. It does you a lot more good than you might think. A Master Corps, huh? Now I see. So that's why Balsef's cronies were so desperate to catch her. Is that what it's called? The jewel in her chest? Oh, right. You don't remember a damn thing, do you? Ah, fair enough. I guess it's time to fill you back in. Tell me. You ever wonder why we Danans are made to work ourselves to the bone, day in, day out? Well, when you put it like that, I always just assumed we were mining resources for them. And don't you think it'd be quicker if they used all that high-powered tech they have? Why go to all the trouble of relying on weak human labor? Listen, what the Renans are really after isn't resources or minerals. 
It's astral energy. They're harvesting the astral energy that sleeps inside all matter in life forms. And they're doing it the same way they have for the past 300 years, using us Danans as mere siphons. Right. They have machines for minerals, but extracting from Danans requires spirit cores. Any astral energy collected passes through a spirit vessel on its way to being stored in a master core. But why go to the trouble of collecting all this energy in the first place? Do they really need all that juice just to use astral arts? It determines the Sovereign. Sovereign? Is that the Renan ruler? Exactly. Five lords, each doing whatever it takes to gather as much astral energy as they can and store it in their master cores. Whichever of them manages to accumulate the most power at the end of their contest is crowned the ruler of the Renan Motherland. A new crown contest, as they call it, is held every decade or so. So you see, the Master Cores are the receptacles in which the Lords store their power, and we Danans are sacrificed so the Renans can choose their new ruler. That's insane! You're telling me that's what our people have been dying for this whole time?! Relax, hero. You're not the only one who's bent out of shape about the whole thing. There are two things that I haven't been able to get my head around yet. What business would a Renan have stealing a Master Core? And what's the deal with that blazing sword? I think the sword is a physical manifestation of the Master Core's astral energy. As for why it took the shape of a sword, well, I don't know any more than you do. Honest. And that stuff about needing your permission to use it? What was that about? I'm the only one of us who can control the Master Core to some extent. Without me to adjust the flow of astral energy, the sword can't take a physical form. What do you want out of this? You may be one of them, but you don't strike me as the ruthless oppressor type. I'm going to take down all of the Lords. Never thought I'd say this, but I like the cut of your jib, Renan. <laughs> Very well. As far as we're concerned, the struggle continues either way. And with that sword on our side, our chances of victory just increased. That is, of course, assuming we can count the two of you in. Fine by me. After all, it sounds like we're after the same thing anyway. I... Honestly, I'm still a little confused by all this. But if it's a choice between this or going back to being a slave, then I choose to fight. Then it's settled. Together we'll overthrow the Renan Lords. And first up on that chopping block is Balsef, the wild beast. Sound good? We have another secret hideout in Ulzebek, not far from here. We should be able to meet up with our comrades there. Cut it out. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? I know I already asked you this, but are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? What's so hard to understand? I'm Renan. You're Danon. There's no way. Besides, I'm from Lenegas. Trust me, wherever you were before you lost your memory, we've never crossed paths. Lenegas? You mean the same Lenegas that's up in the sky? 
I've heard it called the Renan's Castle, but I never imagined people actually lived up there. Well then, where did you think we all lived? Didn't you see the Renan Lords descend for the crown contest? And how long ago was that? Well, the current contest started seven years ago, so... Then I wouldn't remember. Just how far back do you remember? About a year, give or take. That's how long ago Doc found me. One year. Then no. I'm sorry, but there really is no way we could have met. Guess not. should be able to eat this. Whenever you find some, make sure to grab it. It's edible, huh? Good to know. Definitely. one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. We've almost made it to Ulzebek. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. Take more of this! Uh. Ray. Slice! Here I go! It's How's over! This? Swallow Guess we gotta roll with it! Talent Storm! Hurrah! Trust Cannon! You're mine! Swallow This blade. is it! Dig deep! Here's Easier said heart. than done. No excuse! Rising 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 to us! Hurrah! Uh. 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 See ya! That's an unusual bird. It's an owl. They're often used as a symbol to represent ancient Dana.
you all on? You're surrounded. Just stay calm. I'm on it. Swallow blade. Talon storm. Touch cannon. It's Slush. Swallow blade. Mega ray. Slush. Rising wire. Oh, run you through. That is coming. Talon storm. Slush. Touch cannon. Mega ray. You're on. Swallow blade. I'm on it. Let me know if you're struggling. What's this thing? What's this thing? Like this should be easy. Swallow oh, blade! This is not going to work! Swallow blade! I'll run you through! See ya! Talon storm! Here's a healing Touch arm. cannon! First aid! Slush! Take Swallow blade! Go. Rising wyvern! Dragon shot! Slush! Swallow blade! I'm sure I can put this to use.
Okay, people. This is it. Ools are back. No sign of any Renin guardsmen. The Renins aren't as populous as the Danans. Probably figure stationing guards in a place like this would be a waste of precious manpower. So this is where the next safe house is? Yes. The last place they'd think to look for enemies is on their own doorstep. That is, assuming anyone actually made it here before us. Zephyr! Looks like we needn't have worried. Come on. What's this doing here?
Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. What's this thing?
Zephyr, you made it! See? I told you there's no way Zephyr would have kicked the bucket. Fine, you were right. So, what's the plan? Well, we've got an ace up our sleeve and the enemy's in disarray. I say we strike while the iron's hot. So we're finally going head to head with Balsef. That's right. We can't afford to mess this up. It's now or never. Then now it is. We've all been waiting for this day for far too long. Leave the plan to me. In the meantime... Yeah, you two need to do something about your outfits. I have just the thing for your size. Stay right there, okay? Ta-da! I told you, it fits like a dream. I'm afraid we don't have any Renan clothing. I could find you some Danon outfits. But something tells me you'd rather pass. Is this really that important? In case you need reminding, I'm here because our interests overlapped. Nothing more. At no point did I say I've given up being a Renan. Now, now, let's play nice. How about you ask Nate and see what he says? He's our one-stop shop for info around here. With any luck, he might just know something. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought.
Nath, we need your help. Ah, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details on what needs doing. And thanks in advance. I wonder if something happened. Hey. Yes! I guess. Got it. I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on! Sion, do something! 
It's no use. He's already dead. Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! He mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure Renan wouldn't steal it. <sighs> so even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody <sighs> would come for it? I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However, it will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will and see it through to the end. Then we'd better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. So this is what it means to fight the Renis. Sounds like you're kind of scared to me. Of course I am. But if I'm gonna die one way or another, I'd rather go down fighting.
I wonder if something happened. I'm skeptical. Right. Got it. back, huh? Sounds like it was a real ordeal out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Renan armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Renan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. You ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon garbs. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes. Now let's move. <sighs>
Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. Am I really doing this for some lousy clo- <gasps> There are Sugals here, too? Hey! Just a minute. With that blade and your strength, the average Zoogle shouldn't be a problem, right? I'll give it a shot! Slash! There! Try harder! One more! Mega Slash! Break. Rising Wyvern! You're on! Here I go! It's over! There! Got you! Mega Break. You picked the wrong fight! Excited! I'm only right getting this one's all mine! You picked the wrong fight! Slash! There! Got you! Come on! Fire. I'll show you that this one's mine! I'll shoot them down! Mega Run! Run. This one's mine! are Slow hardly blade. worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your Slash. heart's content. It's over. I never miss. Huh. 
You picked the wrong fight. Take it. It's over. Blood. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. You can hardly see anything from here. Let's dispose of the trash. Come one, come all. Mega red. Slush. Excited. I'm only getting started. Slush. Mega red. Come on. Demon Fang. Slush. Slush. Swallow Blade. Again. Mega red. Take it. Swallow Blade. Blade. Demon Fang! Let the marksman handle Swallow this! Blade. Huh. Huh. Slush. Mega Ray. Huh. Swallow Blade! Swallow Blade! Great! What's this thing? So these are the Fagin ruins? How'd you figure a place like this turns derelict? Your guess is as good as mine. I didn't even know this place existed until we heard about it. All that matters to me is whether I can find anything to wear in there. Why does she care so much about her appearance? right to me. Hey, Shion, where does your gun come from? What do you mean, where does it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. 
Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology's technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. Like it could be worth something. Huh. An opponent like this should be easy. Take it. It's over. Swallow blade. You're mine. Demon Fang! Here I go! I never miss! Insects to Swallow stay on blade. the ground! Take it! It's over! You picked the wrong fight! Swallow Blade! Demon Fang! It. It's over! Fly. Swallow Blade! Sighted! Hurrah! You're mine! I need to be stronger! of the trash. Go! Rising over. Wyvern! Mirage! Take it! You're mine! Demon Fang! Swallow Blade! Fly! And again! Magna I'll take well, you all we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Mirage! Help six! Demon Fang! There! Help six! Mirage! If it's in the sky, Demon it's Fang. mine! Slut! It's over! Who wants to die next? Where are you going? Splash! Tame and Fang! I'm only getting started! That's what I like to hear! Let me help. First aid! Now I can let loose. Eat dirt! 
Mega Ray! Stop. Rising Wyvern! Mirage! Sighted. You're mine! Swallow Blade! Who wants to die next? Slut! Mega Ray! Slut! Swallow Blade! Slut! Any injuries? Give you. Go find no one else to pick Dream on. Sighted. Here You're I mine. come. Here I come. There, got me. Demon tag. Chris, next. These little ones are hardly worth our You're time. Mine. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Mega Ray! You're mine! It's over! Uh. Take it! It's over! Uh. I'm gonna need more than uh. that. Rise and wyvern! I'm Go only escape. getting started! Uh. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What's this thing? Dispose of the trash. And again. Uh, Mega this one's mine. Uh, Swallow blade. There. One more. You're Mega mine. Uh, Stay the healing arts. Uh, First aid. Come and face me. You're hey. mine. I'm only getting started. Uh, here I go. Here I go. Uh, I'm only getting started. Uh, I'm uh, only getting I'm started. I'm not done. <sighs> Looks like we won. An opponent like this should be easy. Here I go. It's over! Here I go! It's over! Who Slide. wants to die next? And Take again! This. Mega You're Ray! Huh. Huh. Rising Wyvern! Mega Ray! Slash! Any injuries?
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. There are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Stronger. I won't forgive you. I owe you one. you hear me? To stop you dying? Ah, uh, right. Mega ray! Demon Fang! Now, while it's reeling! Take it down! And it's Swallow Blade! We're in good form! if those are the Fagin ruins below us. Shouldn't be too much farther now, if that's the... Uh... I guess it's been a while since I had a bite to eat. Don't worry about me. I'm used to working while I'm hungry. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You should eat whenever you can. The last thing I need is you keeling over in the middle of a fight just because you didn't eat. 
Never thought I'd get lectured on eating by a Renin, of all people. Yeah, well, some of us Renins know what it's like to go without food, believe it or not. What do you mean? I thought... This isn't about me. Now, are you going to eat or not? I would, if we had anything to eat. But we don't. <sighs> Actually, I have a little bit of food on me. You've been carrying that stuff around this whole time? Not sure it's going to be enough for the both of us, though. That's why we're going to cook it instead. Cook? I've never done anything like that before. Me neither, to be honest. But we've got to make something out of all this, so might as well try. What are you staring at me for? Your clothes are all about function over form. You should think about sprucing them up a little. Why? What purpose would it serve? I guess you're right. I just think you'd look good with a little blue thrown in somewhere. Hmm... All right, I'll think about it. All done. Come and eat. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But... I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It would have been perfect if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry, that's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. You've got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense, or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently, what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant, but everyone else said they were way too spicy. Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I can't guarantee it'll be to your tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already.
I think we've rested long enough. Let's keep moving. Hurry up and go to sleep. I can think for myself, you know. Yeah, but the last thing I need is you dragging me down because you're too tired. I'll keep that in mind. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying, if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul-searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past, too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you. Zephyr. Why aren't you concerned about who I am? You feeling left out, son? No, it's not that. But... You said you wanted to fight so that you can live a free man. At this point, that's all that matters. Even if it somehow turned out you were a Renin, it wouldn't be such a big deal. A Renin? Until we know who you are, we can't rule anything out. Besides, we've already got Xion with us. At this point, what's one more Renin as long as they're on our side? So you don't see every Renin as an enemy? Our goal isn't to hunt down and kill all Renins. We only arm ourselves as much as we need to, to set ourselves free. If you can believe it, not every Danon agrees with what we're doing either. Are you saying we have enemies among the Danons? Uh, not quite. They're just not up for rebelling, per se. The thing you have to remember is that everyone has their own path to walk. I'm not sure I understand. That's okay. Just focus on what we have to do right now. However, the time will come when you'll need to decide what to do for yourself. I swear you can't walk five steps without tripping on a Zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the Zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some Zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana, or so I've heard. What? You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature too? You can get angry all you want but we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. So this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just... You know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Ren and soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. 
I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. This must be it. Looks pretty ancient, but I recognize Renan architecture when I see it. It's seen some beatings. If it stayed sealed all this time, it's not because people left it alone. It's not just their technology. The Renans build their structures out of special materials, too. Strong enough to withstand assaults from Danon tools and weaponry, anyway. So how the hell are we... Easy. <sighs> Phew. <laughs> that may not have been a fancy feast we just had, but I don't remember the last time I felt this full. Do the Renans often not give you all enough to eat? It's never enough. The Renans decide exactly how much we'll have and when we'll have it. And that's that. We do our best to get around it. Everyone has to grow their own food and such behind the Renans' backs in order to get by. Thinking about it now, I wonder if they've always kept it meager so we would never have the energy to try to resist what they've done to us. Yeah. An empty stomach takes its toll on the body and the spirit after a while. How does a Renan like you know what it's like? I may be Renan, but they don't like me either. I could be squeaky clean and they still wouldn't give me anything. Uh, uh. <laughs> Did your stomach just... I didn't hear anything. But you just ate. How are you already... I said I didn't hear anything. I still have some I haven't eaten yet. Do you want it? Sure. I hate that I can see what's on the other side. I can't just walk in. <sighs> it's a defensive barrier. That's how it works. If we want to get through, we have to find the mechanism to lift it. Looks like this place used to be a supply base of some sort. It probably even dates back to the Great Conquest of three centuries ago. For an abandoned place, sure is crawling with critters. Kind of makes you wonder how they all got in. Through cracks in the walls, I guess. Maybe it's a good environment for these species to propagate in. Best not to let your guard down either way. Best not to let your guard down either way. Agreed. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to hang around here any longer than necessary. It's over! You picked the wrong fight! Here I go! 
You're mine! Take this! This could be useful. Like this should be easy. Blast! Swallow blade! Rising wyvern! You're mine! You're mine! Mega Mega. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. We're in good form! Is this a chest of some sort? A Renan kind, yeah. We should definitely hold on to what's inside. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. What's this thing? There. We've been walking around for a while now. Can we give up already? What, you're tired? I'm tired of something, all right. I'm not giving up until we search every inch of this place. She's really determined to find those clothes.
We won. But... Onward and upward. That equipment should come in handy. this Renin technology? I'm amazed you guys can pull something like this off. For us, sites like this are completely normal. This must be... The former owner's old wardrobe, yeah. I wonder how long they've hung here. They don't look like they've aged a day. The designs are a little dated, but it'll have to do. Listen, I get it. You care how you look. But we've got places to... What is it? N no, I... Uh, nothing. We've kept Zephyr and the others waiting long enough. We should head back. Okay, let's head back to Ulzebeck. You're in a good mood. Were you that happy to find a new outfit? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the same as ever.
Looks like it could be worth something. Barely a blip on our radar. Barely a blip on our radar. Get back to Ulzebek? Yeah, we better. We don't have time to waste. Someone's in a hurry. Somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. How's this? Huh? Thanks. Sorry for the side trip. We got to learn a new dish. I'll take what I can get, really. Let's cook it next time we make camp. Is that why she went along with this? Try to be careful not to stand out too much. You're the only Renan around here, you know. I know. I was just thinking about how communal it feels here, even though it's only supposed to be slave quarters. Huh? Oh, yeah. When you put it like that, I guess it is different from heavily patrolled Mosgul. 
Were you expecting something more depressing? It's likely a sign that Balsef doesn't think you guys can do anything to him. What? I mean, if Balsef thought the Crimson Crows actually posed a threat to him, he'd figure he'd be trying harder to suppress them. You... Uh, uh, no. You're probably right about that. All of the other Danans that aren't with the Crimson Crows accept the Renan's rule as simply a fact of life. From the day we're born, no, probably even before that, it's been drilled into us that the only purpose our lives have is to help select the next Sovereign. If they don't like the status quo, then they should fight it. Otherwise, they're endorsing it either way. I see it differently, but that's just me. Speaking of Renans, do all of them think about things the way you do? I won't deny that among my fellow Renans, power and status are everything. However, that isn't what this is about for me. I have something I need to do, and I'll do whatever it takes and use whoever and whatever I need in order to get the job done. To hell with power. Where do you think you're going? You know where. Mosul. What good is it going to do to- I don't need your permission! Radar.
here. Let me help. Rising Wyvern! They really don't give up, do they? Rising you Wyvern! Got spirit. Die! Mega Ray! Take this! You're mine! Take this! Rising Wyvern! Yes! This Go to hell! Here's Take it! Here's Swallow Blade! First aid! Take it! Swallow Blade! You picked the wrong fight! Psycho! I'm not done! There! Ride me down! Mega Ray! Here I go! Here I go! You're mine! You're mine! You're finished! Here I go! Die! You're mine! No. You're finished! Where are you going? Who wants to die next? Demon no. Fang! Take it! No. Nicely done. Fewer soldiers stationed at the garrison than usual. They must have gotten deployed to Mosgul. Doc, Cole, everyone, please be safe. I won't forgive you. Sighted. Take this. You're mine. Rising Wyvern. Right to me. Right behind you, Shion. Keep our eyes on the prize. Get lost! This 
one's mine! Rising Wyvern! Mega You're mine! Here I come! I'm only Demon getting Fang. started! Great! Next! Take it! It's over! We've got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Barely a blip on our radar. this thing. a blip on our radar. You think it might be useful? We should try it and see how it turns out.
what's this thing? I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Please, don't hurt the children. What's that? Damn it, I can't reach them in time! Get back, Cole! Duck! Cole! Stop! Not if I can help it! This one's mine! Oh! Rising wyvern! Oh. Come not shut! Mega Ray! Swallow blade! Damn it! Oh. You're mine! You're mine! Take Damn it! Oh. Oh. Are you all right? What about the others? Are those bastards still here? Iron Mask, take it easy. It's all right now. Most were able to escape, and we've survived. Honestly, we got off lucky. It's often worse when a resistance group pops up. Lucky? 
Do you call people getting slaughtered like this lucky? This is how things go when you're a Danon slave. You're dead if you stand up to them. Keep your head down and do as you're told. At least then you have a chance to survive. You only have one life. That's why... I should wait for the right moment? Yes. So someone else dies instead while we live another day. Is that what you're saying, Doc? You're willing to risk everything on the chance that things will get better if we wait long enough. But what's the point of waiting if others have to die so that we can live? What do you think happens when someone tries to resist? It'd be one thing if the Rebel died and that was that. But it never ends with only one death. You've seen it for yourself. Everyone suffers for it. Knowing that, are you really going to tell me our waiting has no meaning? But that's... I understand not wanting to throw away the same lives we're trying to protect. That would be senseless. But if you wait too long, if you get too used to waiting, then eventually you lose the will to fight. I don't want that to happen to me. I've already met the Crimson Crows. People who risk their lives to fight the Renan's rule. People who know they might not live to see us win, but fight anyway to give those who come after a better chance. If my life is at risk either way, then I'd rather spend it fighting. So you've decided to take up the sword? Yes, but not just any sword. It's a sword that only I can wield, but one that's also too powerful to use on my own. I doubt those who fought the Renans in the past ever had something like this on their side. That's why I'm willing to bet everything I have on this sword. I know it might mean more people end up in danger, but... Okay. If that's how you feel, then forget what I said. It's clear your time has come, Iron Mask. Currently, you and that sword are the only things capable of driving the Renans back. It's because of you that we're still alive right now. If there's a way through this for all of us, then I'll put my trust in you to find it. Doc, thank you. Now, remember what you said, and don't ever abandon that conviction of yours, all right? Right, I won't. You've grown so much since we first met, and you've met some good people too. Maybe you have a chance after all. You're back. Hurry on in. We've been waiting for you. You're not gonna ask what happened? I can tell enough by the way you look right now. I see. Zephyr, I need to ask you something. 
Would you have invited me to join you, even if I didn't have the Blazing Sword? Of course. Why, though? There are many folks out there who are crazy enough to resist the Renans like we do. So when I find someone with the knack for it, I make sure to keep them close. Plus, you remind me of another guy we lost. Maybe deep down, I'm trying to help you as a way of making amends for what I couldn't do for him. But if you don't want this, just say the word. I'm not going anywhere. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be here. If you say so. All right, come on in. Thanks. Yes! What's wrong? Got it. Thanks. Good, good. Is this something you're into? Yeah. These ingenious structures and gadgets never cease to amaze me. Check out these handle grooves. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be seeing here. Alright everyone, it's time. Remember, eyes on the prize. We're after Balsef, nothing else. Cut off the head, and the snake perishes. Hit them head on, however, and we won't make it through the castle gates, let alone reach Balsef himself. Luckily, we have an ace up our sleeve. We need to do everything in our power to make sure that ace reaches Balsef's jugular. To that end, I'll be splitting us up into separate forces. You just said all of us hitting them head-on would be useless. Why would we divide ourselves up? Because we're the decoys. We'll buy our ace in the hole the time they need to get in. 
We only need to cause enough of a ruckus around the castle to distract the enemy. That said, we need to look like the real deal, which is why I'll be tagging along too. You too, Zephyr? So, who's going to take on Balsef? The Iron Mask. I'm counting on you and Xion to make your way to wherever Balsef's hiding. Once there, you drive that flaming sword right through him. You aren't seriously sending in just those two, are you? One of them's a Renin. No one said the plan was perfect. By far, the biggest danger is the one you two will be facing. The fate of this quest rests entirely in your hands, which is why you get the final say. You want out? Now's the time to say so. And if we say no? Then you say no. Just means we're back to square one, that's all. And I go back to being a slave. It's your life. No, it isn't. Ball's in your court, soldier. What do you say? I... I want to fight. But for what? What are you fighting for? To free the Danans from the yoke of their abusive oppressors. To no longer die at the whim of another. To break the shackles of our enslavers. To live and taste freedom! Now you're talking. I believe we have our ace in the hole, people. Hold on to that belief, and we just might break through that wall yet. And what about you? I was born ready. Now can we get this show on the road? There's a gate on your right once you leave here. Go through it and ride the elevator you'll find. I'll send ahead a few friendly faces to keep watch on your way. If you get into any trouble, look to them for support. We all clear? Good. May this battle herald the end of the Renin's bloody three-century reign. To your battle stations, everyone!
I still can't believe this is happening. We're really about to face off against a Renan Lord. Well, you're in pretty high spirits for a guy going into a life and death battle. I'm not saying I'm not worried. But you have to remember, this is the first time any of us Danans have really had any hope. What about you? Are you scared at all? I don't have time to be scared. This is only the first step in a long, long plan of mine. You want to take down all five lords, right? It's hard to believe it'll ever happen. But it will. I know. I haven't forgotten our deal. See that you don't. That said, if we lose, we might suffer a fate worse than death, you know. That's probably true. But instead of worrying about it, wouldn't it be a better use of our time to figure out ways to avoid that and not lose? I suppose. Whatever happens, I'll put everything I have into winning. You can count on that. Balsaf's castle should be just above us. All right. And let's use that elevator thing. Zephyr and the Crimson Crows are supposed to be distracting the Renans from the front. Then let's go around and sneak in elsewhere. That's Zephyr from the Crimson Crows! Kill him! I hope he's gonna be okay. Is now really the time to be worrying about him? We've still got a job to do. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Ho 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 ho! Ho ho ho! I'm s surprised there are owls here too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. sure look intimidating once you see them up close. We can't say this place is truly liberated until we do something about them. What are you muttering about? Stay focused. We still have to take down Balfe.
What's this thing? We should be getting close to the service entrance. Good. Let's get in there and kick their asses! Is this someone's idea of a bridge? It looks like it. Don't fall or this will be a pretty short story. Started. We need to hurry. Hold on. What? You should take the blazing sword. Are you sure? Yeah. We don't know what might happen up ahead. It's better to have it and be ready than to be caught in a fight without it. I took the liberty of cutting the flow of energy from the Master Core. I may be giving you the sword, but you still need me to unleash its power. Try not to forget that. We don't hurry up and find him. You're too close. Try to stay farther apart. Oh, right. Sorry about that. <sighs> Was I really that close? I guess I'm just not used to standing right next to people. <sighs> you mean because of your thorns? <sighs> You're a surprisingly nice person. What? You don't think so? I mean, you just made sure your thorns wouldn't... You can keep your opinions to yourself. You don't know the first thing about me. 
I'm not saying I know everything about you. Sheesh. No need to bite my head off. You just can't take a hint, can you? What? <sighs> I'm sorry. You're right. I, I don't know what sorts of hardships you've been through. After all, what could I possibly know about pain? <sighs> I know you didn't mean anything bad by what you said. The throne room is up on the next floor. That's probably where we'll find Balsef. want to say just come out and say it huh i hate when i feel like people are laughing at me on the inside especially someone like you where i can't read your expression what why would i laugh at you what are you talking about my outfit as soon as you saw me in those ruins you wanted to say something didn't you oh it's not that it's just just what N nothing you're a truly awful person. You know that? An awful... Hey, you're the one jumping to conclusions about what I think. You're not one to talk. Then prove me wrong and tell me what you were really thinking. There wasn't anything mean about you, I promise. I don't believe that for a second. And it doesn't matter what the hell I tell you. You'll always doubt me. <laughs> <laughs>
got us. A hard-won victory. We can cross through now. Good. We're pressed for time. Behind you, Shion. There's still some soldiers inside the castle. It's still less than it would usually be. The diversion must be working. Everyone, stay safe. <sighs> Having second thoughts? No, I was just thinking about the blazing sword. Whenever I hold it, I feel... wrong somehow. Is relying on a sword from a Renan Master Corps that repulsive? It's not about that. It's just... It's hard to explain. It's like the sword is almost too strong. I don't know what's got you so worried, but in case you forgot, that sword is the only reason we have a fighting chance against a lord. I know. You don't need to keep telling me. <laughs> well, good. That said, the longer you use it, the more you get burned by it, too. We need to remember to patch you up quickly when that happens. A double-edged sword in every sense. Since you can't feel pain, you'll need to be careful, okay? Uh, are you actually worried about me? Is that a problem? Look, I need you if I'm going to take out the Lords. 
and I can't have you dying on me before that happens. That's my only concern. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. That equipment should come in handy. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. It's so hot. I can definitely believe they're harvesting fire astral energy out here. Is it that bad? I forgot. You can't feel the heat. I. What? I need to be stronger. Are you a 
okay? What were you even doing here? Working, most likely. Dan and slaves that can't handle manual labor outdoors are put to work in the castles as servants. I'm surprised you didn't know. The soldiers got really mad all of a sudden and everyone ran away! I was the only one that got caught! And it's good that we found you, but it's still not safe here. You need to get out of here before any more soldiers find you. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Thanks for saving me. Oh, here! You can have this! Don't touch me. Uh. I'm sorry. I only wanted to... to... It's not your fault, kid. Don't sweat it. Can I take it instead? Sure! It's the key to the elevator here. Will it help you guys at all? Definitely. Thanks, kid. Now get going. And be careful on your way out. <sighs> so, not too happy about a slave touching you, huh? This isn't the time. We should keep moving. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. What the hell is that thing? A spirit vessel. It's what the Renans use to harvest astral energy from Danans. So that's where it all ends up, huh? Damn them! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Where are you going? Oh, no. Who escaped? Oh. Damn it, Slay! 
There are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. This place looks damn near the same on the outside as it does on the inside. Nothing but fire and rocks. I figured a Renan castle would at least be a little more elegant. Instead, it seems this one was very dedicated to a theme. Is that your idea of a joke? Don't lump the rest of us in with someone like Balsef. Then why does his place look so grungy? I guess you could say that's just the majority of what he's into. He likes fire, and he likes rocks. He's an egotistical brute without a single shred of class. He even makes everyone call him by his stupid nickname, the Wild Beast. I feel sorry for everyone who's stuck having to work beneath him. Huh. Interesting. Why? I used to think all Renans were like him. Terrible people obsessed with their own superiority who were only out to make us miserable. But now, listening to you talk makes me realize that maybe there are some good ones too. Maybe there are a few of you that are different. Listen, I don't know what kind of Renan you think I am, but I have no intention of getting friendly with you. We clear? Crystal, believe me, I wasn't about to suggest we go hang out and have a drink after this, that's for sure. What are those things I sometimes see you chuck out in the middle of fights? What? You mean my bombs? Bombs? As in the things people use to clear out rocks? But I could have sworn I saw something other than fire burst from some of yours. That's because these aren't ordinary bombs. 
They're specially made ones filled with astral energy. Hmm, okay. And why do you shoot the bombs after you release them? It's a part of my strategy. The effects of my bombs change when I fire bullets of a different astral element at them. It makes it difficult for enemies to predict what effect they'll have, or when they'll go off. One moment you're using powerful bombs, the next you're using powerful healing arts. They're kind of on the opposite ends of the spectrum, aren't they? Think of it this way. If you ever get caught up in the blast of one of my bombs and you manage not to die, I'll be able to heal you using my arts. Hmm. I'll do my best to not die then. Guess this thing needs a different key to activate. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. You're clear of that Zugal if I were you. Damn. That weak, huh? Let's dispose of the trash. Rising Wiper! Think again! Ignite! 
Now, all it's freely! Take it down! Swallow blade! Slash! Yes! Searing flame! Reload! Searing flame! Reload! I'm out of ammo! Destruction! Searing flame! Try harder! Here's a healing You're part! Mine. First aid! I'm not done! There! One more! Six. Mega ray! This should do it! I think I'm going to be able to do any more healing for now. Barely a blip on our radar.
that elevator. Gotta break through! You got spirit! Yes, oh. Ready to go! Die. One more! Oh. Take this! Oh. Rising oh. Wyvern! Oh. Here I come! I'm out of ammo! Here I come! Demon! Die. Die. Take this! Die. A hard won victory. That equipment should come in handy. This area seems different. We're getting close. Balsif should be right up ahead. That's what I figured. Time to introduce ourselves. Finally, it's time to face Balsif. Speaking of Balsif, how much would you say you actually know about him? What do you mean? He's just a lord that holds power over Calaglia, isn't he? Just a lord? He is far more than that. Balsif Erwolzi Teldilis is one of the five lords that sit atop all of Renan society. Even without his fire master core, fighting him won't be easy. I've seen that man butcher who knows how many Zoogles, just to blow off some steam. With sheer brawn like his, he can knock you out with one hit, and it's practically suicide to go up against him when he has a weapon. Got it. Watch out for his attacks. That's only the beginning. You can't expect to beat him by attrition. First, we dodge, then look for an opening. Remember that. Sounds like our teamwork is really going to be put to the test. Indeed. Don't screw this up and get us both killed.
move, Bolsev! So the vermin scum you call kin stirred up enough trouble for you two rats to make it all the way to me, huh? <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Although, it was pretty impressive of you to deliver it straight into my hands, the Master Core. You really think we're here to hand it over? <laughs> Why, of course not. You see, I'll be taking it back no matter what you say. <laughs> In any case, this is the end for you. You won't be getting out of here alive. The two of you were fools for coming here. Now die! Common thief believes she can usurp me? Don't make me laugh! You can keep your accursed crown! We're here to overthrow you and free the dead! Spare me your weeping, slave! Damn I'm slave! I'm getting started! Swallow blade! Searing flame! Uh, reload! Stop trying to uh, this! Searing flame! Reload! Uh, I'm out of ammo! Uh, I'm all stopped uh, uh, up! Searing flame! Reload! Uh, uh, here, let uh, me help! Uh, Hurt the big again! Uh, I owe you one. Ignite! God. Slash! Mega Ray! Try this! Searing Blade! Infernal Torrent! Reload! Watch and Swallow Blade! Searing Blade! Rising Yardrick! Reload! Searing! This one's mine! Stop trying to resist! Searing Blade! Reload! I'm out of ammo! I'm on the ground! He's like a brick wall! But he's wide open when he's in the air. I'll shoot him out of the sky. Make sure you don't miss! No! Think again! Here's a healing Just give it up, Balta! Won't beat me! Here I go! You're mine! Back into the fray! Try harder! Slash! Demon Fang! Left! Searing Flame! Reload! I'm out! Back into the fray! You picked the wrong shit! It's you and me! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Space to crush you. This time your mask won't be the only thing that cracks. That is enough! Manif- 
manifested astral energy. And not only that, it's alive! Astral energy? From the spirit vessel? But wait, that was harvested for me! And that energy is supposed to be mine! It was the two of you! I knew it all along! And you'll pay! Men, slay! Look what you did! Without your spirit vessel, or your master core, you're nothing! Shion, watch out! Reload! Reload! That thing's huge! Don't let it trap you in its flames! Demon Here, let me help! Swallow blade! First aid! Take this! Die! I'm out of air! What? That monster's attacking! Look out! Reload! I'm out of air! Watch and This one's mine! Stop trying to resist! There! Got you! Throw blade! Here's a healing tank! First aid! Out of my way! Here I go. I'm only getting started. Back into Swallow the fray. blade. Demon pack. Searing flame. Reload. That fire monster's getting ready to attack. Stop trying to resist. Searing flame. Reload. Uh, now back into the fray. It's on. Swallow blade. That fire monster's causing us a lot of trouble. Let me take a crack at it. Slot. Take ready. Here it comes. Down you go. You really don't mess around. No, while he's down. Excited. You're mine. Not today. You wrecked it. Won't me. I'm ready. Demon Fang. I'm all stuffed up. Swallow blade! You're in trouble now! This one's mine! You fell! Now what? Watch out! We need to stop him! Searing blade! Reload! Swallow blade! Uh, I'm out! Demon Fang! Searing blade! Reload! Demon Fang! There! Go! It's Swallow blade! Searing blade! Reload! Demon You're finished! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! It's always been the way of the Renin for the strongest to survive! And yet, you have allied yourself with a filthy Danon! You traitor! <laughs> Tell me why! Why bring ruin and devastation to your own kind? <laughs> Snakes like you should die! Energy? How do we even... If this sword is made of astral energy as well, maybe...
did it. We brought down the wall. Uh, Iron Mask, your face is exposed. No. Huh? Name. surging within me, fueling the sword. Where did it come from? This twisting fear that clings to me, holding me in check. The melancholic voice calling out to me. Who am I? Who was I? This is... Wakey-wakey, sunshine. About time, too. A week? You mean that whole time I was... A cold? Yeah. Just as well, too. When you blacked out, you were on your way to becoming a pile of ash. <sighs> Shion's the reason you're still here. Shion, you've healed me? In case you'd forgotten, we've still got four lords to defeat. You dying would have only slowed things down. What about Balsef's troops? We've got them on the ropes. While you've been getting your beauty sleep, most of the remaining Renans have either surrendered or fled. You slaying Balsef was the catalyst we'd been waiting for. Thanks to you, Galaglia is finally free. You have my gratitude. We couldn't have done it without you. I just did what anyone would have done. Iron Matt, Forgive me. Alfin. It's good to finally see who I'm speaking to. <sighs> Half of him, anyway. So, feel like telling us who you used to be? I... I wish I could. Memory's still giving you grief, eh? I see. Still, no sense in beating yourself up. You've remembered your name. The rest will come in time. So, what happens now? Well, just everything. The realm may be liberated, but we're still destitute. You name it, anything and everything starts from scratch. But enough of that. You've just woken up. You should get a sense of the scale of what you've accomplished. Head over to the Gates of Fire, and take a look at the view. It's a sight too many Danans died only ever seeing in their dreams. The Gates of Fire. I'll be your chaperone. Last thing we need is you tripping on a pebble and missing another week. Remind me to laugh next time.
That blazing sword's turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <clears throat> With that much sheer power, elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster, too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal.
<laughs> what? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. So sure. Right.
Colossus. Yeah. Hmm? What? Why do you keep people at arm's length? <laughs> You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the Lords. See? That's what I mean! <laughs> you want to defeat the Lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. <sighs> You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the Blazing Sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. But I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the Blazing Sword! Like that. <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. Uh, I was just trying to compliment you. You were? <laughs> what now? Sion, your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Xion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those Gates of Fire. Smiling and laughing. It's finally sinking in that we won. If you hadn't healed me back there, Shion, I would have never lived to see this. I told you before. If you die on me, it'll make things difficult for me, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads.
I always love the sound of hammers banging away. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yes! Nice. Got it. Yes! Could be useful. Together, that wasn't even a problem. I hate camping out. Looks like it could be worth something.
No choice. Searing flame! Reload! Here, let me help. First aid! Swallow blade! Demon tank! I'm only getting... Searing flame! Reload! I'm out! I'm all stuffed up! Swallow blade! Now! Take it down! I still got a ways to go! You said before that this probably used to be a supply depot, right? That Nay thought it was a Renan castle. I wonder what it actually is. Who knows? Who knows? What, can't I not know something? You didn't think I knew every last thing about my own kind, did you? I didn't say that. <sighs> From what I've heard, a lot of the materials that were initially brought over from Rena 300 years ago were repurposed for other things over time. So it's entirely possible that this place used to be both a supply depot and a lord's castle at different points in time. They're not mutually exclusive. I couldn't tell you when the lord's castle moved to its current location, though. Well, satisfied? Uh, it, yeah, thank you. You know, for telling me about all that. Uh, it's not like I mentioned anything that useful. Come on, let's keep moving. How's this? Very nice. So, different materials produce different weapons, each with their own respective properties. We should probably move on. Come to think of it, what's my sword made of? What material would it make sense with? Claws? Fangs? In one ear and out the other. Off we go. Uh, 
I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel, and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. Then it was the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Balsif and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I'd wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? How am I supposed to know? My memory's a complete blank, remember? <sighs> <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any- She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? Yeah. He's back in Mosgul. 
If anyone can help us, it's him. In that case, would you mind asking for us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it sounds normal to you, but I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course I knew there was more out there, but it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Even so, it's nice to see there really is life beyond the walls of Calaglia. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. We've reached our destination. It's so quiet. From now on, no one is going to be whipped or killed here ever again. Hey there, Doc. Hmm? Who are you? It's me, Iron Mask. Though these days I go by Alfin. I finally remembered my name. Alfin? I heard that was the guy who brought down Balsif. Wait, you're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alfin now, and I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished, and you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it, but now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renan? I'm not saying it to any old Renan. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh, have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. Good idea. We'll take a look. Keard Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick.
There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. I thought I was used to fire by now. You look happy. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping, despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion, not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just hard for me to understand him. We've reached our destination. I won't forgive you! Torturing Alpha! Reload! Searing Flame! Reload! Rising Warmer! Amount of ammo! Watch and weep! 
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. This could be useful. This is it? How would I know? It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, we should maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Barely a blip on our radar. We're in good form! Heart to your heart's content. I need to be stronger. Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Alfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah. I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. We go.
Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around here. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five realms. What with that wall in the way, I guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now, the only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian resistance known as the Silver Swords. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's true! My people are dying! I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It's okay. You did well. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Hold on, Zephyr. You're not really thinking... We'll join her. Alfin, start getting ready. I let you use the Blazing Sword, and we work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal, remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? What makes you think you can? Last I checked, you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I... I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them, too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks, but now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr! True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason, I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Let's move, people.
I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive. Don't we? Now that you have the Blazing Sword, and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans, so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr. Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the Resistance are different. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? Come on, that's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave, that's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question, Alfin. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I guess... it means living a life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Guess we gotta Cut roll them apart with to your heart's content. I'm sure I can put this to use. What's that over there? Some kind of castle? Yeah, one that belongs to a different lord than Balsef. Right, that makes sense. You said there were five of them in all, right? Right. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Ah, guess I misread the landing.
Rinwell, right? It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle, and he's a baby owl. Huh. And he's the only friend I have. Normally, I don't pick on the weak. I never miss! Rising Wyvern! Searing Flame! Reload! Flash! Don't go charging Flyers off away. like that! Back Flyers! These are all you, Sion! Keep our eyes on the prize. Aware without you reminding me. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. <laughs> What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Is that? Watch out! They know we're here! Flying Zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. They're nothing I haven't seen before. Shion! I'll shoot them down, you finish them off. Got it? Knock a flying enemy out of the sky, and it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. One final push! Right! Give him all we got! You're finished! I'm on! Over! <laughs> yeah. What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. How can you be so... like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. He might have been wondering if he was the only one. Oh! You just barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Together, that wasn't even a problem.
I hate camping out. I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? Why am I here? Would it kill you to be a little more friendly? I don't see how that's necessary. Look, for the time being at least, we're working together. You don't have to make this harder than it already is. In case you've forgotten, the two of us may be working together. But the only reason we're even teamed up right now is because our interests happen to overlap. Otherwise, why in the world would I be working with a Danon slave like- I am not a slave! <sighs> I'm not a slave anymore. Not since I chose to fight. I've left that life behind, and I'm better for it. Understand? <sighs> I'm sorry for yelling, but please don't call me that ever again, okay? <sighs> okay. This should definitely keep you guys full. Well, off we go. I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Shion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. 
Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. And it's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. I take it we're heading through here, then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mention anything about being married. That's surprising. You said was. So then, is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... <sighs> Let's go. What is this place, anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before, either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danons will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Blast it out of the sky! Right. 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 
Got fire! Here, I've got this! Let him fly! Handle it! See ya! All yours! Cut cannon! It. Swallow blade! Do it! Destruction! I never imagined there were Zoogles out there that could pretend to be statues. That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? Guess we have to be prepared for anything. It's freezing in here. And after how hot it was outside, too. It must be the cold air sweeping in from Cislodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. Is the little guy okay? Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. Rinwell. How about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? Oh, yeah. Hmm, let's see. Well, for starters, nobody trusts nobody. Come again? Just like I said, you never know when snake eyes are watching you. That's what they call their lord's henchmen, apparently. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. So? Renin surveillance was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renins. They've got Danon spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small-time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. More trustful of outsiders than even your own people. Why go along with it, though? Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. That's why the world needs people like us. Blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. I'm sure I can put this to use.
Normally I don't pick on the Demon Prey! Here I go! Run! Only getting started! Had it coming! Talon Storm! Demon Prey! Touch the camera! This one's mine! Would you try to be less patronizing? I didn't mean nothing by it. I'll run you through! I'm not done! Do it! It's trial Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? Huh. I think I could get used to it. of the trash. It's this on. one's mine. Sword Rain Alpha! Demon I'll run you Ray. through! Reload. See ya! Talon Storm! Touch your face! Do it! Oh, this ends now! Consider yourself finished! See you continue on go. in that thing. Uh, yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Demon Prime! Reload! Talon Storm! Touch your face! Searing Flame! Reload! I'm on it! Demon Prime! Swallow Blade! Blade. I still got a ways to go. Barely a blip on our radar.
That is one enormous stray. I don't... I won't forgive you! This is it! Dig deep! Easier said than done. No excuses! This is up to us! Too much healing. And what have we got here? Oh, I saw that in a book once. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you?
blip on our radar. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. My power growing! You okay? It's nothing. Don't be so dramatic. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans, yet we rarely take up arms because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. 
Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to us to put a dent in their armor before they cotton on to our plan. That way, we force them to the negotiating table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Xion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of... ...terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with a cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... 
Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? <laughs> Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe, let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? What's this thing? Normally I don't Ready pick on go. the weak. I'm on it. Don't go charging off like that. Don't let them form a pack. Great. On to the next. Roger that. Show me what you Notice the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. We've reached our destination. Guess I'll polish up my sword. we go. We've reached our destination.
Everything's coming up, Zephyr. Normally I don't store. Pathetic. Out of our way. You're surrounded. Just stay calm! Cyan instant! Orochi Fury! I'll Trust. See ya! Tell it! Uh. Swallow uh. Blade! Take it! I'll see I'm only getting See ya! Swallow Blade! Tell it! Swallow Blade! Blade. Uh. Dragon no. Shot! Demon Fang! Kill! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. An opponent like this should be easy. Here I go. Hit Here on. Mine. You're on. I'm on it. Destroy this door. Airborne beat. My special. Swallow blade. Strike. They got oh, fire. I got it. Let a marksman him. Handle. All yours. Barely a blip on our radar. What's this thing? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? Huh. I think I could get used to it. We're in good form! Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm hmm Hey! Whoa!
Hmm? Right. Mm-hmm. Nice. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is.
Okay, off we go. Everything's coming up, Zephyr! Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? Huh. I think I could get used to it. Work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. An opponent like this should be easy. I never miss. Fury! Demon Clay, you through? See ya. Here I go. Destruction. Do it. Here I come. This one's all mine. Demon you picked the wrong go. fight! I'll run Get you out. through! I'm all locked up! Destruction! Swallow Blade! Searing Blade! Reload! Out of ammo! Destruction! Do it! Demon Tank! Demon Tank! Demon Tank! Demon Tank! I can feel my precision improving. I need something to eat.
I'm surprised there are owls here, too. Yeah, there are more of them around than I thought. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. I go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms, being your own master, thinking and making decisions for yourself, and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Xion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sisloden. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Dad, I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people. Always good to be back in familiar territory. Oh! My guess. All right! <laughs> How's this? Oh! Uh... 
how's this? Wow. <laughs> Thanks. She'd gone quiet. She's still eating. It's good to be back in familiar territory. Do you see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Yeah! Hey. Good. What? Is this your idea of atonement? I never put much thought into what would come after liberation. Don't expect me to help you with this sort of thing in the future. Okay, off we go. that the Zugul we're looking for? Normally I don't pick on the weak. Swarm of blade! Nation. You're surrounded! Just stay calm! <laughs> here, let me help! Destruction! Okay, okay, here I go! Circle and bring them down! See ya! Thrust. A lot of it's buried, but some of it could still be usable. Only if we drive off the Zoogles, though. Is the area worth the trouble? I suppose we won't be running out of work anytime soon. I'm sure I can put this to use.
Yeah. Sorry. Damn it. Hey. Gotcha! You seem happy for someone who just went on a wild goose chase. Hey, when you're free, there's no need to sweat the small stuff. Oh, it's no skin off my nose. But if we're done here already, can we get back to our mission? Want to take a break? Silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <clears throat> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! <laughs> what? Leave him alone! An embedded dares to find the orders of his lordship? Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Bring them out! Well, we'll no, I'm the true gunslinger around Come here. Engaging! I'm out! Come and Watching. face me! Fire in the Eat dirt! Fall back! There! Got you! Lost and loaded! Destruction! Save it! Fire in the hole! Let's try harder! Let's try! Step in the hole! Fire in the hole! Face it! Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it. Relief! 
going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got this damn so look on your face! Zephyr! I got it handled. But he just... He's my son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. <laughs> We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called Bright Eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family... My people were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was...
Dana and Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey. What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? body seems to be doing okay.
all of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've... always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Uh. Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. You always have an eye for food. Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me.
It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax. The coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. Messia 224. Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It <sighs> indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. one of Hoodle's friends. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. No. Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? Si... Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet! You're trying to get us all killed! Out of hell with that! Go on, report me! See if I care! I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. 
My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Cisloden it is. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. All right. What? Good. Using Zoogles to make drinks. That takes guts. No one would have come up with it before the occupation. That's for sure. You don't think the Snake Eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help loosen them up. Okay. We've reached our destination. Barely a blip on our radar.
Whatever you do, just stay away from the floor! Oh, Gusty nail! Searing flame! Reload! I'll fix you up! Dance in the wind! Air strike! Huh? You picked the wrong fight! Let's go! Hit the mark! <sighs> Looks like we won. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. We've got the ingredients. Let's get them back to Messia. Any injuries? Someone in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. By the way. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Rinwell, do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later.
<sighs> hey. Hmm. Hey. I guess. Great! Huh? Huh? Is that the Zugal we're looking for? Go no further! Where are you going? Rotin Yuri! I'll be saving you! Searing Flame! Reload! Blah blah blah! Strike. These ones can run just around! Oh, I'll be getting started! Searing Flame! Burn it out! Reload! Do it! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Nicely done. That looks like the Zugal we were told about. No choice. Sighted. Sword Rain Alpha. Mind. Crush. Got here, go. Destruction. Sighted. Do it. Where are you going? Carry the uh, uh, Not in your dreams. It's over. Ready. Well then. Let's keep moving. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. No choice. Take this! Here it is! Hey, hey, Destruction! Take it! Crush! I'm all doing! Fools up! Dance in the rain! In here! You're on! I'll be Crush. saving this one! That should be enough to make the area more safe to travel in. Let's keep our eyes on the prize.
Hey. Huh? Till next time. Hmm. I guess. Of course! Huh? Hey. Ugh. Sure. How's this? Yeah! <laughs> hmm. What? Just great. <sighs> they 
reacted just like we expected. Yeah. Do you think we'd end up like that if we had to treat everyone with suspicion? It's like the bitter cold has frozen the hearts of those who live here. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisladin. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisladin anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then. The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured, just let Xion know, okay? <sighs> I only have one pair of hands, you know. Good! This came out just the way I hoped. Shion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? 
no, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them, and see how it goes. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. 